Oh, oh, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, uh, have you seen a giant yellow bird around here anywhere? We were told that one lives here. Yes, we've been looking all day. Yes, well, that's Big Bird. He lives over there behind those doors. We found him. Oh, at last. Shh, this is wonderful. Can I borrow your ladder? Yes. Why do you want to borrow the ladder? So we can see the bird over those doors. See, we're bird watchers. Uh, I'm Madeline. This is Cedric. Yes, we love to watch birds and learn how they live. Okay, I'll take you over there. What is it? Wow! Oh, what do you see? A very, very big bird. Right this down. Oh, yes. It's big and yellow. Big and yellow. It is sleeping in a giant nest. Giant nest? Oh, oh, it must be eight feet tall. Eight feet tall? Well, what, what, what kind of bird is it? Well, it is certainly not a hummingbird. Hmm. I guess these people have never seen a bird like Big Bird before. I guess a lot of people haven't. Oh. Say, why are we whispering? Shh! You'll frighten it, it'll fly away. Don't worry. It can't fly. Oh. Can't fly. Fly? I can't believe this. The bird is pouring bird seed from a box into a bowl. That bird just made his own breakfast. Okay, what do we have so far? Well, it's big and yellow. It, it sleeps in a tight nest, is eight feet tall, uh, can fly, and makes its own breakfast. Uh-oh, it's playing jacks. Playing checks. We've we heard about society years about this. We have to get in closer so we can take his picture. Yes, well, maybe if we crept up on him. Wait a minute, him. wait a minute. I can save you a lot of trouble. Excuse me. Big Bird! Somebody wants to take your picture! Oh boy. Well, which side? My left side or my right side? He talks. Doesn't everyone? Dressed up, all dandied and dressed up, all feathered and pressed up, and feeling so fine. Dressed up in our best formal design. Outshine all the rest of you, aren't we divine? We beg your pardon, but fancy that you could be carefree and almost as half happy as we see how we're blessed with so much zest, with every button buttoned and every press pressed, we're dressed up and aren't we the best?
words. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. And today, Wonderful. today our lesson is about our friend, the tree. Oh. Yes, now first of all, this is a tree. And oh. this part right here, this part of the tree, that thick part is called the stem. No. Well, it is not the stem. What is it called? Well, my mommy says this is called the trunk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the That's trunk. Right. Yep. yep, yep. Oh, thank you. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Oh, I did not know the trunk. Okay, well, on the uh, trunk, you say trunk. The trunk, there's a whole bunch of stuff on the trunk. That is called the skin. No! no. It is not called the skin. What is it called? It's called the bark. The mm -hmm. bark? Yeah. Huh. Well, thank you. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Uh-huh. Um, and, oh, uh, see that thing up there, right up there? Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, there's a whole bunch of those on the tree, and uh, that is called the stick. No! That is not called the stick. Well, what, what is it called? A, a branch. Branch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Um, well, I know one thing for sure. One thing for absolute certain, all those little green things on the tree all over, they are the feathers. No! They are not the feathers, campers. Well, no. campers, what are they? The leaves! Thank you! You're welcome! Uh, uh, campers, um, if that is true, then what is the next thing I'm going to describe? That part of the tree that is, uh, where it has fur and some claws and some teeth. A bear! Oh, 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 hey, oh, come on! I want to hear more tree talk. Hey, hey, can I be a camper too? Gosh, I have to hurry. Oh, hi, I'm the letter N. You see me all the time in words like nail, nest, and net. Why, I'm right up front of words like Needle and noodle. Don't forget other N words such as nuts, napkins, and nose. But most of all, don't make noise at night. The letter N is nice. I like it. Once again, it's time for Finger Theater.
board. <sighs> oh, practice. Well, you all ready for our game? Oh, what are you watching? The bird is playing hide and seek. I've just spotted a parrot in the fix-it shop. Oh, okay. You cover the parrot, and I'll stay here. All right. Okay, I'm gonna count to 20 now, and you all run and hide. Here I go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Anyone around my base is it? Whoa. Oh. Oh. Uh, can you say that again? Oh, sure. Anyone around my base no, is no, no. it? I, I mean before that. Oh, the counting? Yeah. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, He's counting. nine, ten. The bird 11, is counting. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, can I just say one thing? Do you know that you are the first bird I have ever watched that can count to twenty? Really? Yeah. And do you know one thing? Do you know that you're it? Tag! Madeline's it! Madeline's it! Madeline's it! Let's all hide!
Cups of oatmeal, two pitted mangoes, hey Bert, buttermilk. Bert, Bert it's time for the rhyming game, Bert. Oh, uh, no, Ernie, thanks. I, I don't want to play a game. I'm reading my book. Oh, but you'll love this game, Bert. See, all you have to do is you say something, and then I will say something that rhymes with what you just said. Uh-huh, yeah, but I really don't want to play a game. Maybe not, Bert, but we'll do it all the same. You see that? See, you said game, and I said same. And mm. game and same both rhyme. Rhyme, yeah, I know, mm -hmm. I know. Uh, but, uh, Ernie, it's just not what I want to do. Wiggle your finger and waggle your shoe. Uh, Ernie, I'd much rather sit and read my book. With ears you hear and with eyes you look. Now, come on, Ernie, cut this out. Easy, old buddy, no need to shout. I don't want to play a game with rhymes. Nice going, Bert, oh, ring my chime. I don't want to do it. There's really nothing to it. It's so silly. A boy named Bully. Stop it, please. A dog has fleas. Ow. No. Ernie, please, this has got to stop. Some people like to jump and hop. I don't want to do it. No more. Anymore. What, what, hmm? I don't. what, what, hmm? I don't want to do it anymore. Oh, one and two and three and four. Uh, Ernie. Bernie. Stop it. Mop it. Stop. Flop. No. Flow. Hippopotamus. Um, Ripatotopus. Ah. All right, all right. I give up. Eat from a plate and drink from a cup. I guess I'll just have to play along. It plays like a game and sings like a song. Uh, you may be right. I may be wrong. The clock goes tick and a bell goes bong. This game is really kind of kicky. Sugar's sweet and glue is thick. Hey, water is wet and dust is dry. Dogs gotta walk and birds gotta fly. It's a great kind of game to play with a friend. And now, old buddy, we've come to the end. Yeah, you're right, Ernie. That's a great game. You. Uh, well, well, Bert, see, I think I'm going to go read a book now, okay? <laughs> hey, that lamp, that's a nice shade. You. Not the same. <laughs> Thank you. 
That roller skates, boy, you are sure talented. Oh, thanks, but aren't you getting a little tired of watching me? No, I could do this all day. Well, frankly, I'm getting a little tired of you watching me. Oh. So I wonder, maybe you could watch some other birds for a while, huh? Other birds where? Well, hey, gang, come here. Hey. Um, this is Gummo, Zeppo, Curly, and Mo, the Canary Brothers. Oh, how do you do? Madeline, I'm... Canary Brothers, Hi. Canary Brothers, Madeline. Very pleased to meet you. You know, they can really sing. They can sing like canaries. I can sing. Yeah? Yeah. Oh. I know. We could sing something together. Um, um, do you know the one about the brown bird in the cherry tree? What? What did they say? They said if you hum a few bars, they can fake it. Oh. May I join you? Yeah, well, let's all sing together. Okay. A brown bird whistled in a hollow tree when springtime was a springing, I said, oh, birdie, will you please tell me what is that song you're singing? He said, I sing to birds and men in every kind of weather, that those who walk and those who fly Nice. That was great. Mm -hmm. You know what? Well, they enjoyed it too. I know. <laughs> Roadrunner. I 
J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z Dig that crazy alphabet How much hipper can you get? A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z Now that you have learned the song Next time you can sing along Ah, that was fun, Tessie, my sweet. Oh, yes, Thomas. I love roller skating. Me too. Well, it's time to go home. Thomas? Hmm? Gracious to goodness me, we are inside. How do we get out? Very good question, my dear. Let me see. <laughs> I know. The wall. We'll go through the wall. Yes. <laughs> yes, we will go through the wall. Who will go first? I will go first. I will go first. No, I'll go first. Here I go. I could mention. It just stands there at attention. I love the letter L. Little L, you don't lean or lay below the line like Y does. Little L, you never get crossed like T's or dotted like I does. <laughs> L, you're the little letter I wish I was. Little L. Oh. Aha! How many children are there? Count them with the count. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, ah, five children. Go! There they go. Ah, they're all in different places now. Now, how many children will there be? Let us count them again. One, two, three, four, and one little girl under the box. Five, still five children. Ah, ah. Go, kids, yes. Oh, Sarah, oh, yes, good. Ah, count them again. One, two, three, four, and under the box. Five, still five children. Yes, I counted you, you're four. Go, kids, go. Sarah, yes. Oh, good girl. Now how many children? One, two, three, four, five. No matter where they stand, there are still five children. Ah, ah, ah. Wonderful. I love it. Uh-oh. Bye-bye, kids. <laughs>
Yes. Yes, that's right. No, I'll wait. Yes, I will. Thank you. Um, um, uh, what's the special phone call you're making, Madeline? I am calling the bird department of our government in Washington because I want to tell them about you and oh. find out if you are an, an endangered species. <laughs> oh, no, I could save you money. I'm not in danger. Why, whenever I cross the street, I always have a grown-up hold my hand, and I never run out from between the cars. That's very good, but that is not what endangered species means. Oh. Big Bird, it's a, it's a bird or animal that there aren't that many left of. Yeah, it means that there are hardly any other birds like you in the world. Oh, you mean maybe I'm a rare bird? Shh, I have the bird department in Washington. McNulty, birds. Hello, Mr. McNulty. This is Madeline. Uh, I would like to report another rare bird. All right. What kind of bird is it this time? Well, he's yellow, he lives on Sesame Street, he's eight feet tall, he talks, he makes his own breakfast, he roller skates, he plays jacks, and can count to 20. Uh, now, wait just a minute. An eight-foot bird that yeah. talks, <coughs> makes his own breakfast, yeah. and counts to 20. Yeah. This is a joke, right? No. <laughs> Next thing you're going to tell me, he knows the alphabet. Do you know the alphabet? Uh-huh. You do? Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm putting him on, OK? I'm putting the bird on the phone. Here. Oh. Um, uh, Mr. McNutley? Uh, that's McNulty. Ah, OK. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. See, that, that's amazing. <laughs> Can you say that again? Oh, sure. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. And how about this? C-A-T, cat. That's amazing. Okay, how about that, Mr. McNulty, huh? Okay. Now, is he an endangered species? Is he? You bet. You take him to Windy Hill right away. Okay. That bird knew the alphabet. <laughs> I need a vacation. Congratulations. Oh. You are an endangered species. Really? Yep. Hey, an endangered species. Did you hear that, friends? I'm an endangered species. Congratulations. 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 Yeah. Yeah. So you better pack your things. Why? Where am I going? To a special place in the country for endangered species. Hmm. The Windy Hill Bird Sanctuary. Because you are rare. And we have to take special care of you. Hmm. Can he stay here? Does he have to go there? Yes, he really should. Big Bird? Yeah, well, listen, folks. When you're an endangered species, there's some things you just gotta do. That's right. That's a very brave bird, so come on. Uh, yeah, but, uh, could I bring my teddy bear? You are. <laughs>
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. The ladybugs came to the ladybugs picnic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And they all played games at the ladybugs picnic. They had twelve sacks, so they ran sack races, and they fell on the backs, and they fell on the faces. The ladybugs twelve at the ladybugs picnic. They played jump rope, but the rope it broke, so they just sat around telling knock knock jokes. The ladybugs twelve at the ladybugs picnic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and they chatted away at the ladybugs picnic. They talked about the high price of furniture and rugs and fire insurance for ladybugs. Ladybugs twelve at the ladybugs picnic. Twelve. L, L, large, L, L, little, large, little, L. Hey, John, John, you know the difference between up and down? Up and down? Yeah. Oh, I think I know it. I know I make it up and down. Up is up there, huh? Up and down. And down. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Hey, that's good. You know that real well. I say up and down. Yeah, up and down. Thank you, John. John. You welcome. Give me five for later. Other side. Yeah. So uh, this is where us birds live, huh? Yes. This oh. is your new home in the country. You'll be very safe here, 
And, uh, and you'll have lots of company. As you can hear, there's plenty of birds around. Yeah, I can see them. Uh -huh. There's some of my relatives up there, even. Oh, yeah? Yeah, there's my Uncle Murgatroyd, my, my cousin Phyllis. Gee, oh. but where's all the people? Oh, no, there are no people here. No people? Mm -hmm. No, we don't have a sanctuary for them. Oh. Well, then, where will I live? Oh, don't worry about that, because you're going to have a house all your own. Do you want to pick it out now? Well, I guess so. Okay, well, well, here's a lovely a big birdhouse. Big? Well, for a birdhouse. How do you like it? Well, uh, I like the color. It's puce. Oh, but I think it's a little too small for me. Yeah, it does look a little snug, but don't worry, because here, here's an even bigger one. Oh. Yeah. Well, it is bigger, all right, but... Yeah. Um, well, <clears throat> what do you think, Radar? Uh, Radar thinks it's a little too small for me. Uh-huh. Well, the bear is right, but mm. don't worry about that, because here is the biggest one in the whole place. Oh, this is the biggest one? Yeah. Well, maybe if I scrunch down, I could get in. Let me see. <coughs> oh, what? <coughs> hey, what? flap off, tall stuff. This one's taken. Oh. All right, I'm coming, kitties. Well, I must say. Uh, say, why don't you let me uh, show you something in a tree? Uh, would you like to build your nest inside this beauty? Well, it, it's a nice tree, but how would I ever get up there? I can't fly. That's why these steps are here. Do you want to climb up and uh, take a look? Well, okay. How do you like it? A young bird with imagination could probably do a lot with this. Yeah, well, there's lots of leaves up here, but I'm not sure these branches will hold me. I'll climb higher and see if they will. Hey, good bird. Watch out! Uh-oh. 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 Oh. 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 Are you okay? Yeah. Oh. But, you know, I think I'm too heavy for a tree. And also, I don't like high places. But where will I live? Wow. Yeah. Um... Well, if you don't like trees and you don't care for birdhouses, then, um, oh, I know. Well, is there something that I could bring to you that would make you feel more at home here? Yeah. Okay, well, what, what would it be? Well, you could bring me a, a building from Sesame Street uh -huh. and, and some old doors and, and make two walls on the outside and then bring my nest and put it inside the doors and then bring me Mr. Looper's door and Mr. Looper and, and, and Gordon and Susan and, and Maria and David and Olivia and Bob and, and a large city. <laughs> Do I get the feeling that you don't want to live here? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll take you back to Sesame Street then. You will? Of course. Yeah? Yeah, I mean, this just is probably not your natural habitat. No. Yeah, I mean, you're probably really a city bird, see? Yeah. And, and And birds have to live where they belong, so... So let's go. Oh. Mm -hmm. You hear that, Radar? radar? We're, we're going home. <sighs> Gee, just when I was beginning to like it here.
What is this we're holding here, Jason? Uh, what, what do we call this thing? Mirror with a hand on it. A mirror with a hand on it? Mm -hmm. But it's certainly a mirror. And when I look in the mirror, I see me, Ernie. No, 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 no. I see me, Jason. Oh, no, 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 no. I see me, Ernie. No, no, no. I see. Jason. Oh, I see. Me, Ernie. Jason. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'll tell you what we can do. If we put our heads real close together, we could see both of us. How about that? Yep. That's the best thing of all. <laughs> In the old and far off place, there was a lowercase n. Lonely and cold, she would stare off into space And it was known that she would cry now and then Lowercase n Standing on a hill The wind is very still For the lowercase n Then one day a rocket ship Came racing from Started coming outside. A lowercase and she's not lonely anymore. They are standing on the hill. There are two that stand for sure. The wind is very still. For the lowercase and Hello, me, Alastair Cookie. Welcome to Monsterpiece Theater, home of classy drama. Tonight, me take you back to ancient Rome for big, big play. Me, Claudius. <laughs> Me, Claudius. No, no, no. Me, Claudius. What? Me, Claudius? No, 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 no. Me, Claudius. No, no, no. 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 me, Claudius. No, me, Claudius. No, me, 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 Claudius. Me, 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 Claudius. And so end our drama. Me still not know who Claudius, but me, Alastair Cookie, saying good night for Monsterpiece Theater. <laughs> Endangered species handle with care we sure are glad you brought big bird back madeline yeah and we promise to take even better care of him because we know he's an endangered species we've always known he was a special bird <laughs> well he really is in fact there's probably no other bird like him in the whole world oh yeah there is there is oh sure there's my auntie maureen maureen uh, lives in uh chicago on the loop and she looks a lot like me, except she has blue eyes. Are you getting this? Yes, miss. And then, let's see, there's uh, my uh, cousin Floyd, who lives in L.A. Uh, he looks a lot like me, except that he's purple, and he's a surfer. 
Can we get a plane to Los Angeles? I don't know. Oh, yeah, and then, of course, there's my Uncle Slim. Uh, he's a cowbird from Wyoming, but he's right here in New York right now. Oh, there he is. I I I'll call him for you. Oh. Hi, Uncle Slim. Hey, Uncle Slim. Look, I'll meet you later at uh, Bird Seed Charlie's, okay? Oh, well, yet another biggie. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. Oh, Mr. Bird. Mr. Bird. Wait, oh, sir, excuse me. Uh, Mr. Bird. Excuse me. Hey, Mr. Bird. Gosh. They, they sure like birds, don't they? So do we, Big Bird. Bye-bye, oh, bird watchers. Bye. Sesame Street was brought to you today by the letters N for Nightingale and L for Lock and the number 12. Sesame Street is a production of the Children's Television Workshop. Street is a production of the Children's Television Workshop. <laughs>